guys, it's Queen BJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting doing to episode 2 of The Millionaire Detective, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, come on, Haru. Damn. No. Poor Haru. Shit, a lot of things have changed and I love it. Oh my god.
so be a woman. Oh. <laughs> You'll have a better life. Damn, I mean. Cute though. Don't really like them glasses. Ooh. Mm, just a player. No. Mm -mm. You can follow the one in the black car. I'm hungry, guys. I haven't even eaten yet. Oh, my God. Oh, 
Oh my god. You need sleep. <laughs> he could be doing some things on his own, you know. And of course, you're going to tell her, right? <laughs> Daisy. Mm hmm. Are you staying here? Oh, my God. <laughs> what? I mean, this just makes the bat cave look small. Oh my. Mm. And you couldn't say anything earlier? Yeah, and then maybe a shower. <laughs> Tomiki is showing like really bad.
pressed. I mean, come on. I can't with the hot though, oh my god. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> there could be a helicopter, just climb. Don't just stand there. What? Me too. What the hell? Oh. My God, are you serious? Oh, my God. <laughs> Probably just knock out gas. That's fine, you don't have to like that.
Well, hey, it's a free trip. Just like these damn rich people, like, oh my god, this boy. <laughs> now you know how hot he felt. <laughs> this episode went by really freaking quickly. I mean, oh, I can't, but it was so okay. Like, okay. For some weird reason, now officially learning about Hari's past in this episode, especially with the fact is that, you know, he got fired. He misfired, and so he's still traumatized from that for a weird reason. And of course, I'm going to compare this to this, because the voice actor also played this character. It gives me feels towards in P5 with the situation about Ryuji and such. And I mean, it's like dead eyes. And I, I, I know I probably was not the only person who was like, yeah, you know, that kind of reminds me of the comic sheet of bullshit and Ryuji getting, you know, his leg hurt so that he can't really run anymore. And because of it, you know, his mom in the situation that he can't really have because of the fact. And it, it, it's so sad, but like, I think, you know, there's going to be a point Maybe from episode 3 to episode 12, 13, however long this series is, where Haru is going to have to fire a gun again. And it might be a little traumatic for him at first. I think as of now, I don't think it's it's going to be as big as I think it is, but it's not going to be as drawn out as I kind of want it to be because, I mean, I feel like possibly he's gotten over it, but there's maybe a little teeny tiny bit, somewhat deep, 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 deep down inside himself that he still is a little afraid to fire something because you never know really what could happen when you shoot a gun. I mean, it's kind of how with, um, in sort of online season two with Xion and her phobias on guns and everything in a way, but I don't think it's that far. I don't think if he had a gun in his hand, he would just like, his hand would just start shaking and everything. And then he drops it and then something happens and who knows, like, someone could also get killed and stuff, but, like, oh my god, I can't. Harder just looks so cute in this episode, I can't with him so much, and the fact that, like, finally, and I, I kept thinking about this from last week to this week, that the girl was his sister, and the fact is that I was right on that shit. Mm. <laughs> yes. But the fact is, it is Maya Sakamoto, freaking Shinobu, Best girl Haruhi from Oran High School Host Club. It's just a little reunion and I love it so much because now she's playing a rich character and <laughs> King Mamaru is playing a character who, you know, he's not really poor because we re he, I bet you he lives in a really nice apartment building. I mean, he was driving in it, but then he saw, you know, his sister, like, gotta go out <laughs> Like, can we talk about freaking Daisuke's house? Oh my god. This man makes freaking Bruce Wayne and Tony Stark look like nothing. Oh my god. I can't. I mean, that's a nice fucking house. Like, oh, if you could, if I could live in a house like that, I would be set. Just, you know what? I would love to really have a house and this is only because of the fact is that the first time when I watched the freaking purge so many years ago 
you know how like you can have like automatic like um freaking stuff that comes down on like the windows the doors locks and everything that's what i want for my future house i know that's probably gonna cost a lot of money but still it would be a dream but this is a damn good episode and i loved it so much but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode two of the millionaire detective if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next thursday for episode 3. Bye guys!